Nice to have you again, my friends, here on Will EduTech. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at the solution to question 4C. And this question usually falls under your general topic of measurements. Now, this question was taken from the CSEC math exam pass paper, the January 2012 paper. Now, quickly, let's just pull this up and get into it. Now, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a cuboid with length 13 centimeters with 4 centimeters and height h centimeters okay and it's very clear on the diagram here uh, here I'm running my pointer along the length which is 13 centimeters here at the base I'm running my pointer along the width which is 4 centimeters and at the side here I have my vertical height okay uh, which is h uh, obviously, we don't know that. Maybe we're going to have to find that later on, okay? Now, here in part one, it states, state in terms of H, the area of the shaded face of the cuboid. And that's an easy one, Mark. Now, basically, um, let's just quickly go back to what we uh, have learned earlier on area, okay? We know that area is a two-dimensional uh, shape. Right, we are taking two, we are multiplying two measurements really. So area would be equal to, and in this case, if you notice, my friends, they gave us the width of the of the shaded region and the height is in in terms of h. So my area really is my width times my height. So I can say w times h is my area. But however, they ask us to write an expression. So I'm not going to use an equal sign. I'm just going to use the, that imply sign. Okay. It's very important. Only when working with equations, we use an equal sign. Okay, my friends. So this implies that I can substitute the width. If you notice, they gave me four centimeters. They gave me my width to be four centimeters. So I can say my width is four and that's multiplying my height, which is H. So that's four H. All right. And that's my, that's my answer. All right. So the area of the shaded region is four H. Now let's quickly look at part number two. Now in part two, they're asking us to write an expression in terms of H again for the volume of the cuboid. All right. And that's another easy one, Mark. So let's just go back to basics on what we learned about volume. Volume of an object and a volume now has to do with a three dimensional shape. All right. So volume, basically you're multiplying three measurements. So volume is equal to the length times the width times the height of the object okay and that's a multiplication sign right there okay my friends let me just write it properly so everyone can see that clearly okay times h now if you notice if you notice what happened earlier the length of my length of my my cuboid is 13 centimeters, so I can substitute the 13 for L, which is my length. But if you notice what happened earlier, earlier they, they asked us to find the area. Now we know that W times H, and if you look carefully up here, when we found the area, that was W times H. So I can just simply, if WH works out to be 4 times H, then I can simply multiply my 13 by my 4 times H. Okay? So really my volume and expression, and let me use my that imply sign again, seem to have a bad habit using the equal sign. Okay, so this implies that 13 times 4 would give me a 52 times my H. And again, that would be my expression. So that's our answer uh, in terms of our expression that represents the volume of this cuboid. All right, now in part three, they're saying that if the volume if the volume of the cuboid is 286 centimeters cube, calculate the height h of the cuboid. And that's another easy two marks. Quickly, let's just get into that. My friends, if they're asking us to find the volume, or, sorry, the height of the of the cuboid, and they gave us this, uh, this value for the volume, the volume is 286 centimeters cube. Okay. So let, let's just make some quick notes. They gave us the volume, volume. They said that volume is equal to 286 centimeter cube. Now, if you remember earlier, we had worked out the volume also, or we had wrote an expression that represented the volume also. And the expression for the volume was 52. 
two h okay now if you if you know the general idea of an equation what's on one side must be on the other side then it, it's easy by substitution now since they had given us since they had given us the volume uh, in terms of in terms of this figure we could say the volume is two eight six okay which is equal to and remember we had gotten an expression here that represented the volume also so these two quantities would have the same value so we can say that is equal to 52 h okay my friends so to calculate the value of h or to calculate the height of the cuboid we could since 52 is multiplying h we could just simply divide through by 52 so what you do to one side you do to the next okay 52 there will cancel 52 therefore and and I'm just writing the variable first it's an equation so it doesn't matter which side the H is on alright but I'm just going to write in its general form so I can say H is equal to uh, 8286 8, rather divided by 52 that will give us 5.5 5, and that's in centimeters so now we can make our statement so there we have it my friends the height of the cuboid is 5.5 centimeters so remember this was a worded problem so whenever you have completed your calculations you should always present your answers in words all right nice having you and hope this was helpful bye bye